Hello and welcome to my vlog. Today I've got uh, quite a bit of catching up to do. It's October the 4th. Uh, where's the year gone? October already. Anyway, uh, I've got some uh, cabbages that need pricking out. These are the uh, the winter jewel. Uh, I've got a couple of videos that I've taken um, during September and uh, I'll put them on in a moment so you can have a look at those. Um, and uh, what else have I got on the list that needs to be done before the weather really turns? Uh, there's the final bed of onions that need to be lifted and there's the um, beetroot that needs to be lifted and pickled. That'll be a, a video. Then uh, it's a case of trying to uh, do any of the other chores that I have, tidying up the apple trees and the pear trees. Although I think I'll leave the pear trees until winter, until they've gone over and then I'll cut them back. Uh, but I'll do the uh, the apple trees now. They're still in, in leaf, uh, so they're going dormant, but not yet dormant. I didn't prune them last year, but I did the year before. Uh, we'll have to wait and see how, how they go. It's it's always a bit of a bit of a hit and miss, I suppose, with with pruning. If you if you cut it off, you I suppose you can graft it back on, but you can't glue it back on. Uh, so I'm always a bit nervous about about pruning things, uh, especially the perennials and the, uh, and the trees. But we'll have a look and see where they go. And uh, generally, it's just a case of, uh, as I said, this year has had a slow start and then just caught up all of a sudden. So while I put on these winter jewel cabbages, uh, here's a clip or two from the glass house at the beginning of September. Do you ever get the feeling that nature's trying to tell you something? Well, the cord snapped again in a different place but close by. So, wunderbar. And, uh, that yellow perfection seems to have uh, become overripe and split. Oh, I don't know. On a positive note, I don't need to buy cucumber from the grocery store. <laughs> well, who knows? So, they're starting to turn as well, which is a nice thing to see. Oh, yes. I've got some tomatoes for the salads, but uh, for now, let's get these lifted up and put back. And uh, then I can get on with other tasks. That's the tomatoes strung back up. The uh, doesn't seem to be too much damage done either, which uh, I'm pleased about. These poor tomatoes. What a year they've had. This one that uh, I didn't think had anything worth saving and then I was going to cut it, but I decided to keep it. Hasn't got anything worth saving from what I can tell. Are these going to germinate? No. So that one's probably going to go to compost soon. Uh, another new bit. I've done this one three times. Whereas previously I'd done them no four times. Doubled it over and then doubled it again. If I string them next year, I think that's what I'm going to do as well. Although I don't think I'm going to do as many tomatoes and I don't think I'm going to uh, going to have uh, such a crowded space. But for now, Gardener's Reward. Lovely. Well, I've still got a ways to go. But... Uh, Here's another clip from uh, again early September when I tidied the lawn um, and I also highlighted a job that I think I should have done then but I'll certainly do in the next few days. So here we go. This is a part of the garden that I don't show too often because it's a, <laughs> a work in progress shall we say. Uh, what I've done is next to the box hedge that I've got here I've, uh, I've just taken the edge back because the grass was encroaching and uh, all the uh, the rough bits of the compost that I've been sieving out I've used 
as a mulch because as far as I'm concerned that's what mulch looks like that isn't what compost supposed to look like and uh, if you look at the box hedge and I haven't cut this this year I cut it last year you can see I've got some sprouts coming through there some some sports and there's some more growth come on there as well next to the uh, magnolia and what I'm going to do with those is I'm going to cut those off and try and uh, take cuttings so I can propagate from this uh, this and uh, see if I can uh, grow them on and get some plants for free that would be nice because then I could do a bit more with the with, with the hedge if I can do I'm that. I'm almost done and uh, here's another clip uh, where I uh, moan about the weather again uh, but all joking aside uh, in the northeast of England, although it's been a wet year, uh, we've had it easy in comparison to other places and other folks around the world. Uh, so uh, my thoughts are with those who are recovering from Hur Hurricane Helene and Typhoon Creathon and all other terrible weather events that have happened so far this year. Well, it started raining at about six o'clock last night. It's now quarter to one. Let's see how bad the leaks are in the uh, little greenhouse here. Well, it's not too bad. We've got a few leaks down there. I have to move some things around. But, uh, yeah, these. These will have to move, otherwise they might rot. I can see the uh, germination has started on the winter jewel that I put in. Uh, these were the onions, uh, the Senshiu yellow onions. They haven't germinated, you can see I've got a, a winter jewel that uh, got away. Not quite, I'll germ harvest that later. And uh, I put some lettuce a little bit of germination there, not a great deal, and I put some uh, spring onion, some uh, white Lisbon, which are supposed to be winter hardy. They haven't quite germinated. I can see some signs of life. I'll just leave it back on that. Uh, but for now, what I'll do is I'll uh, just put you on pause while I uh, quickly move things around a little bit. Right then, so a quick move around. Put the uh, cabbage up there, they'll need to be potted on. The uh, onions and lettuce over there. These are over here where it's drier. So I've got those ones there. I've got more onions on this side. These are the Hercules that I pulled uh, the other week. I don't know if I've filmed it or not. At the back I've transplanted some of the leeks. I don't know how they're going to do, but uh, we'll see. And I've got some more leeks that I'll transplant uh, over here. These are the, the leeks I still need doing. I've got some uh, tet a tet, which I'll be planting out. And since the uh, abysmal germination of the uh, essential yellow onions, I've bought some more. I've got four grams here from Premier Seeds direct so they'll get done and I also got some sets so there's 50 in that one 50 in that one so uh, there we go and uh, it's not looking lovely I never got that planted out so I'll just have to see what I can do and keep that uh, nurturing and the blueberries that I got are uh, still putting out new growth new leaf which I was a bit disappointed with that uh, they hadn't started to go dormant yet but it is more sheltered in here but it does mean I can probably start taking cuttings from these when they do go dormant and uh, fingers crossed we'll see how these well, progress I got the uh, cabbage all pricked out there's uh, I think 40 in total um, so that's not too bad that'll keep us going that's if they all survive um, but uh, I think what I'll do now is I'll uh, String up some onions. I'll not bother filming it because uh, I've done a couple of videos on stringing onions and that'll leave space for the onions that uh, need to come in. And uh, 
then I'll uh, see how things go. I've also got to try and sow some more seeds and uh, pot out the uh, the onion sets that I got, which were the uh, the Shenshiu yellow onions. So I've got a hundred of those and uh, four grams of uh, seed to sow. So fingers crossed, I'll I'll have a good amount of those. But uh, for now. I'll have a reward. Oh, lovely. Right. Stringing onions off camera. Well, I strung those onions, which uh, it wasn't too bad. You can tell by the light that I'm losing light now. It's, uh, it's getting on in the afternoon. It's tea time. So uh, I'll go in and feed the, uh, the old fogies. And uh, what I'll have to do also, see some of the tomatoes in the glass house are uh, still trying to turn. And you'll see the secret weapon I've employed, the uh, paraffin heater, just to raise the nighttime temperature above uh, 10 degrees. I'll, uh, I'll know how successful that has been, um, certainly in a couple of weeks when I uh, finish off the, the, the glass house. The cucumbers have completely gone over now, I would say. There's a few tomatoes that are starting to turn. You can see the, uh, the red ones there of the Gardener's Delight. And there's uh, still quite a few Gardener's Delight there that need to turn. And they're on the way. I believe uh, Krista of Almost a Green Acre called it blushing. Yes, well, um, sadly I think this one might have a bit of blight that it's starting to go. So I'll have to uh, harvest those and maybe just put them next to a banana. And uh, if we look at these ones over here, well, there's no sign of a blush on those at all. So, but I, I must say the, uh, the Super Mama uh, in its various styles is doing quite well. They're starting to, to turn, definitely blush. Uh, does that one start to blush? I don't, I don't quite know. I think it might do, although... I, I think a blush means it starts to go white first and then turns, so that one's definitely on the way. But I just want to see if I can get the size of, the, the, of this one. I mean, look at the size of that. That's a big one. And so is its mate there as well. Lovely, lovely size. I hope I can, I hope I can uh, successfully eat that one. Sorry, it's not really going into... Uh, the focus. Yes, and uh, here are some that I uh, I collected. What's wrong with the focus? It's not working very well. There we go. That's better. Yes. So uh, each of those containers hold about a litre. So we'll uh, we'll see how uh, how they progress. They're they're not doing too badly. But uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll get back to the little greenhouse and I'll do the uh, do the close out. Well, that's it. That's the end of the video. It uh, doesn't seem like I've done a great deal. Uh, although I look around the little greenhouse and I see space. So uh, I can uh, get on with emptying the uh, last onion bed. And then after that, it's the beetroot that I need to harvest and pickle. And there's still the apple trees that I need to prune back. And the list never ends. I said to a friend that uh, it's October already. Where's the year gone? and uh, several people I've been in communication with as well have all said the same we don't know where the year's gone it's completely accelerated so I'll say goodbye thank you very much for watching you take care and uh, I'll see you next time TTFN